Hey, it's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and it's time for another activity. Went to the store the other day, and I bought this. It's a giant pencil. Well, that's to say it's a foot-long pencil, which is giant in pencil terms. And if you see right here, there's a label, and it's warning that this is, in fact, a choking hazard, like nearly everything else I buy these days. And uh, I originally thought that was pretty funny, because who's going to joke on a giant pencil? But in fact, there's a little plastic tip here protecting the point, and that in fact is what they are probably warning about. No concerns, I read the label, not going to choke on the plastic tip. Well now let's unwrap it and destroy its collectible value. Okay, so here we go, and the, the plastic tip has jumped off. Wait. So here it is, the giant pencil and the plastic choking hazard. Now you'll see that there is no marking on this, so I don't know if this is a number two pencil or an HB pencil or what. So I wouldn't be taking this down to the SATs if I were you. Not good for that. But it does have a real rubber eraser, so if I make a mistake, I will be able to erase it. But the one real test of a pencil, of course, is does it write? So I'm going to try to draw a cartoon face here with this giant pencil, see how well it works. I'll make the eye, little circle, make uh, the letter C right next to the circle there, that'll make the nose. Then I'll put the second eyeball right behind these two, right there, and an ear. I must admit, this pencil is working a lot better than I imagined, but I have no idea how I'm going to sharpen it. Then, see here, let's give him a nice jawline. Now, to uh, make the mouth, all you really have to do is kind of make an open triangle that comes in on itself. I'll show you what I mean. Start making the open triangle straight that way. And come down there. Then instead of completely coming back up, take a shortcut and make a parallel line to the top line. And what you've done there is you made a mouth, you made some teeth. It's pretty good. and some hair. Sideburns. There we go. That's it. Now you can just color in the mouth. Put little dots in the eyes. Eyelids. And there you go. There's a cartoon head. You want to give him a neck probably and some shoulders. So it doesn't look like just a floating head, but that's pretty much it. That's a pretty good pencil. And not a bad looking fella right there, if I do say so myself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it, add some comments, and uh, maybe even subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Reverend Jay.